garage on State Box, all right, yo? Let them defuse that. Let them take care of that ball. The clock's ticking and the wiring is messed up. One pothole too many, and that thing could blow. Now move it. Military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pension. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Australian-American war. I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying thank you for fighting for our freedom, Jane. And after years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American war was the biggest war since the big I tell you, I didn't do two tours to take boomerang shrapnel in my head. So I can come back here and have a bunch of hits. Denied history. Those are terrific. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping in the camp. Knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy? You'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head. Unimportant. Will I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just a little unhappy. I've been agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bounce. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission. To storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey book covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. With the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie and sports jacket? With the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products when she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springy monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. 
Liberty City. This is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's too neat. No, I really can't say I have. Well, you have tried sometimes. I tell you, man, it's too neat. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. Pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes they come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. Squirrels. Squirrels are not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the biocides, the tummy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my... Ah! www.sleepoffmar.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat as well and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel that. The new my boxing monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, that's a good.